Hey Pisces, welcome and welcome back to Pisces Network. Thank you guys so much for being here as always. I am so appreciative of y'all's support. Any contribution that y'all have made to the channel really means a lot to me. So we're going to go ahead and get into another reading for you guys to see what is going on. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Like the video, leave me a comment, let me know how you feel. Those are great ways to support the channel for free. And if you want to support further, I definitely have Pisces Apparel. It's on sale, 10% off. So be sure to check out the link to my shop below. It's in the description box. You guys, also, if you want a reading, um, I'm probably going to be running a discount on the website um, in December. So I'll be keeping you guys posted about that. If you just can't wait, Click the link below and you can let me know what's going on. But let's see. Guardian angels, archangels, spirit guides, and ancestors. Father, Mother, God for Pisces. What are the messages for Pisces at this time? Okay, Pisces. So a time to give rather than take. Okay. New moon in Virgo and a fiery climax approaches full moon in Aries. Hmm. Okay. I feel like you guys disagree with things being a time rather to give than to take, but it says conclusions are within reach. Full moon eclipse. Aren't there eclipses going on? Or I don't know. And it's time to release negativity. Full moon in Scorpio. Okay. So whatever situations that you're in, Pisces, right now, I know y'all are tired of giving. Uh, I know y'all are tired of like giving of yourself or feeling like you're giving so much and you're not getting anything in return. But I feel like that part of your life is coming to a close where it's going to be a time where you receive. OK, you may be in a place right now where you just feel like you're giving all the time. But there's about to be something big that happens where this is going to completely flip and it's going to bring a conclusion to this time where you feel like you have to always give. That time is going to come to a close and it's coming soon. And that's why spirit wants you to release your negativity. OK, so I feel like there's something that you are going to receive that's going to change your trajectory Okay, the hangman was under there. This is something that's happening to you soon. Okay, because because the conclusion to this giving period in your life where you feel as if you're giving so much of yourself, that conclusion is coming, I feel like, fast. Okay, a fiery climax approaches. So what are the messages for Pisces? Oh, wow. Five of Cups. Yeah, so I just feel like right now you kind of feel alone. Okay, what else are the messages for Pisces? You could be going through a lot of sadness, sorrow, regret. This may not be your energy, but you know, it's not so much. I, I mean, it kind of feels like you're looking at all of the things that you've had to leave behind in life or all of the things that didn't really go the way you wanted them to. Okay, yeah, two of swords. What else for Pisces? What else are the messages for Pisces? Eight of Cups. Okay. What else for Pisces? Justice. Interesting. Pisces. I feel like it's supposed to go like this. Y'all hear these little kids listen to the baby? <laughs> listen to the little baby. The, no, it's not a little baby. It's the baby. I don't... <laughs> I cannot deal with these kids.
I can just walk without being an asshole. <laughs> Pisces. Oh. It's like you feel like nobody's been giving to you. And you've just had to walk away from a lot of situations because they have people haven't been given to you. And to me, justice is like. Mm. It may seem like things aren't going in your favor, but they are. It really may seem like things are not going in your favor, but they are. I feel like there's about to be a change in the wind. Okay, that's what I'm getting. A change in the wind, baby. Because something is about to conclude and a new part of your life is about to come in. So any negativity, feel like, oh, I'm so alone. Oh, people don't love me. Oh, I ain't never going to find nobody. I ain't never going to have what I need. I'm always going to be joking. All that bullshit needs to cut and cease. Ten of Pentacles, Six of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you're approaching some type of big accomplishment. It could have been a decade since something went down, but I don't know. I feel like you're approaching a big accomplishment. And I don't know what this is. Or someone is coming in to offer you something big. And I'm not sure what it is. Anything that you felt like you had to leave behind. I'm telling you, Pisces. It's like, this could be what you're realizing. It's like, it might not... I really feel like y'all know what's going on. I'm not saying y'all are stupid, but I don't think you all are complaining either for the most part. Some people are, but not not you, okay? And I feel like for you, it's a situation where it's just bittersweet. It's just bitter, bittersweet. And it's really nothing that's too sweet about it, Eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 cups. That's four cups. I, I just feel like you're tired. I just feel like you're bored. I just feel like nothing is really exciting you right now. But you know what's crazy? I feel like sometimes we feel like that right before some some really interesting stuff goes down. Like, I don't know how to explain it. I don't know how to explain it. It's like a very melancholy feeling that I feel like you're experiencing, but because it's like because you're tired of having to always feel like you're the one who's giving. Okay, wow. So the karmic partner, new direction, and new love. So look at that. I just feel like you have gone in. A, a new direction. Okay, that look, and I said change in the wind. So I definitely feel like something is about to go in a new direction. Wow, deception and solitude. Yeah, because I don't know, it's just whatever you're thinking about, you feel like you have to go a different way. You feel like you have to do something differently now in your life. You don't want to deal with the deception anymore or you had to go your separate ways from a person because they were being deceptive. Okay, Lenormand 101. Let's go ahead and get into it, okay? But I do feel like there's... Man, I just don't know how to explain it. There's something coming in that you don't expect or you're walking into something that you don't expect. I feel like you're actually walking into something that you really don't expect. What other messages are there for Pisces? What is the message? What is What is this about? I feel like you've been keeping yourself secluded because you don't want to be deceived by anybody. But, man, uh, okay, 25, this ace of whatever this is. Okay. 
Child, I need to. I know what it is, but I forget. Clubs. Ace of Clubs. Okay. So you're about to experience some type of life change. It's like an Ace of Wands. Life changing ideas or your life is about to change. Okay, there's going to be a new beginning. Okay. And I feel like your life is about to change. For real. Okay, let's see. So something about your home situation is going to change. Because you move forward from a karmic partner. Let's see what this card is about. Let's see. It's number 25. It says ring. Okay. It says a precious item is what I am to bind in marriage and commitment. I bring harmony and unions as long as negative cards are afar. I am the contract and the promise in partnerships and ventures. I am the symbol of completion and the form of eternal devotion. The game of hope tells us that finding this ring will be will bring a reward. Here we see a ruby ring symbolizing commitment. In crystal lore, the ruby is a guarantee of economic stability. In some cultures, it was buried in the foundations of buildings to assure good fortune. The ring is a symbol of commitment and can speak of a contract being drawn up between two people or business partners. The ring is an object of value to those who wear it. Okay, so this is something valuable or you are being seen as something valuable, Pisces. Or your value is going to increase. There may be a business partnership or even a relationship between you and someone else that is about to take flight or that's about to bloom. And it says new love, new direction. So... I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is love or this is a new business, something that you love to do. But it's because it's like you've tried out so many other things and nothing else has worked. And this is just, this is just, I feel going to blow your mind because you're coming to the end of a cycle where you're the one who always has to give. And I feel like now it's about to usher in whatever this change is that's coming over your life is about to usher in some type of new era, okay? And I feel like a lot of you work alone because you're afraid of being lied to, deceived. But I feel like you have to release that negativity of thinking that everybody's gonna deceive you or everybody's going to lie to you because of the karmic connections that you've had. You had to deal with the karma. It's okay. They had to lie to you so that you can get to this point. Stop being mad at them. You know? Wow. At the bottom, the, the whip. This little broom whip. Number 11. We got that before. That could... I don't know. You could have been abused. Okay? It says... Birch and the broom. It says, be warned of high temper. I bring conflict and strife. You will find me in competitions because I work with repetition. Arguments and quarrels are my patent, but I am not always a villain. I can be found in the gym or in a lusty bed on a whim. Ooh, shit. Damn, I didn't expect that. Then it says the birch broom is one of the troublesome cards in the Lenormand. Unlike in tarot, there are definitely favorable and unfavorable cards in this system. Where the birch comes, where the birch comes, frenzy will be whipped up, creating discord, and a person will be quick to anger. 
The card is trouble, strife, disharmony, con conflict, argument, and all things stressful, particularly when seen with the birds. Okay. A crack of the whip will be exerted either by you or against you. The reverie depicts the curling whip and the birch, a bundle of branches tightly bound, which was used to reprimand and castigate. Birching was used in France during the French Revolution and during the time of Mademoiselle Lenormand herself. In its most positive sense, we have here a card calling us to bring our forces and attention together and to get focused and to get all our ducks in a row, okay? To get focused and get all our ducks in a row. Okay. Interesting. So there could be some, uh, cause with card number 25, it's like, I don't know, somebody's making a promise. Or some type of commitment. And it's like you gotta you gotta get your ducks in a row, make a choice. 22. That's a club. That's a diamond. Queen of diamonds. Ouch. Okay. So let me see. The Queen of Diamonds, practical, warm, dependable motherhood. Mm. Or toxic. Okay, so you can eat. <laughs> okay. And then the Jack of Clubs. Unreliable, hot-headed, risk-taker, hidden intentions. What? That's crazy. So it kind of feels like I don't know Pisces it kind of feels like you're about to be in a new love situation and you're going to have to get your shit together. You're going to have to get your shit together. You're going to have to get your attitude in check. You're going to have to get everything in check. Like releasing any negativity, releasing fear that makes you go off like being argumentative, being unfair, only wanting to see one side, that's going to have to go because I feel like somebody is coming in, child. Okay. Jack of clubs. Hold on, let me see something. Okay, that's a friend. That might be a friend. I don't know. You could even be, I don't know. You, you could even have somebody around you that's telling you to get your shit together. I don't know. But it kind of feels like there's a partnership that's approaching you or there's someone who wants to make a commitment to you and you're going to have to make a choice about who you're going to be. Like, are you going to be negative and angry and mad and take out all the karmic shit that you've been through on this person? Or, like, because you're mad at other people? Or are you going to do what you need to do to, like, be more loving and nurturing and mature? Because I feel like somebody has a choice to be rough or soft. I don't know what the fuck this means. It feels funny. It feels funny. It feels like it's kind of funny. I don't know. Somebody could have a hidden agenda, but I don't know. I feel like you're more so worried about people having some kind of hidden agenda when, when I think it's more... Spirit is trying to say it's more of a decision about how you want to perceive a situation, you know, because I do feel like there's a Ten of Pentacles coming in, whatever this Ten of Pentacles, this um, ring is, somebody's making a commitment or they want to start a cycle with you. This could be a business. This could, this could just be like in general, Pisces, when it comes to working with people, you could be difficult. I feel like sometimes you're difficult and you walk away from situations because you don't want to back down or compromise on anything. But I feel like sometimes it leaves you kind of like lonely. And 
like that's kind of what I was telling y'all about in the other reading. It's like you don't have to accept anything you don't feel like you you want to accept, but at the same time, what are you willing to accept? Like, what are you gonna take? Like, what? I, I'm not saying take abuse or you know be treated crazy, but I just feel that there's a situation here where you're gonna have to be more objective. And you're going to have to understand somebody's point of view. Be and it's going to be a challenge. It's really going to be a challenge. But Spirit is trying to tell you to, that you're going to have to make a choice. If this is what you want, if love is what you want, love is coming in. But they're telling you, like, if you're mad at the last motherfucker or if you still have a chip on your shoulder or you're holding a grudge. Okay. Then it's not going to work out. That's what I, that's what I feel. And it's going to all be up to you. It's going to be about the choice you want to make. I feel like time is up. Now it's here. You've been waiting. Here it is. Temperance. Nine of Pentacles and the Two of Pentacles. Your ship has arrived, Pisces. This is a new era. I told you, like, because you've been being tired. You, you're you tired of giving. You're tired of sacrificing. You're tired of all these things. Yes, I understand. But are you going to let that hold you back from something that you really, really want in your life? Because I feel like that's the question here. I feel like that's what it is. You're going to have to leave behind all of this sadness and sorrow, whatever you've pain you've experienced, to turn around and see the love that's around you or the love that's right in your face. Or the love that's coming in. I feel like you're not sure. Two of Pentacles. Nine of Pentacles. Two of Pentacles. That's 11 Pentacles. So there's the 10 right there. They're coming to make you this offer. Somebody's coming to make you some type of offer. You're going to be meeting someone. I mean, you got to make a choice. You got to put down one of these coins to get on the ship. So do you want this emotional baggage that you're holding on to to be what stops you from being able to take advantage of this opportunity or take advantage of the situation so you can finally harvest the the fruit that you've been nurturing for so long? Because I feel like your fruit is ready to be harvest, harvested. But it's like you have to make a decision about where it is that you're going, what it is that you want, or, you know, because I, I feel like you kind of don't know where this is going to go. That's the whole thing. You don't know what's going to happen. But the only way you're going to figure out what's going to happen is to just find out. You're going to have to try. You're going to have to find out somewhere or another. You're going to have to find out somewhere or another. And it's either, and the only way that you're going to find out is through experiencing it. Okay. So what's coming towards Pisces? It's like right now, like it's like right now. It's no more waiting. The Ten of Pentacles again. What else is what's coming towards Pisces? I'm actually going to put this over here. What's coming towards Pisces? Two of Cups. Can I get one more card? Ten of Wands. Wow. So you got the Ten of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles twice. And the Ten of Wands. Somebody don't want to argue no more. Somebody's dropping their burdens. I feel like somebody packed up and left, packed up and moved. Or they packed up and moved and they're coming towards you. Okay. Six of Cups. Eight of Swords. Damn, I feel like somebody's coming home. I don't know who this is. 
But it's like what this person was trying to do didn't work out. So it's like they're coming back home. I don't know. Somebody could be in the military. But it kind of feels like somebody's coming back home. I feel like you could even be bringing this person back home. I don't know. What is this Ten of Pentacles and Two of Cups? Ooh. What's the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups? For whatever this is coming towards Pisces. What's the Ten of Pentacles and the Two of Cups? King of Cups. Damn, yeah. Somebody poured out their feelings or somebody's about to pour out their feelings. But I literally feel like somebody poured out their feelings in another situation or something. I don't know. It's like somebody went on some type of like journey. And I feel like they're coming back. That's what I get. I don't know. And, and I'm not trying to be like, I'm not trying to be all like the past is coming back. But I don't know what this is. It kind of feels like someone is setting your mind free or someone is letting you go. Or someone is breaking you out. Someone's getting out. I don't know. Someone's getting out of a fucked up situation and coming back home. So someone could be getting out of the military, getting out of jail. And they could be coming back home. Getting out of some type of contract or legal, legally binding um, situation. Somebody could be getting a divorce. I really feel like this is a person who may have gotten married, moved away, started a business or pursued their career, moved away, went to the military, moved away. Like I feel like somebody's moving back home because they're finally out of a contract or they're finally out of jail or they're finally like no longer tied down in a situation. Ace of Swords. Yeah, it's like somebody's going to lay it all down. They're going to lay it all down on the table. Or they're just dropping everything. I don't know. Somebody, it's like they're dropping everything to come see you. Or tell you what the fuck is going on. Yeah, five of cups again. Man. It kind of feels like... Um, I just, it kind of feels like you weren't going to allow somebody to treat you unfairly, so you walked away. And they're coming back because, I don't know. I definitely feel like you, I definitely, Pisces, feel that you felt a situation is over and done with. Okay, you feel like a situation was over and done with, but. I feel like this is. Somebody is letting somebody float away. Excuse me. I feel like the same thing that you're doing right now, maybe being by yourself, feeling like you can't be with nobody, feeling like there's nothing there for you out there. Whatever that feeling is that you've been feeling lately, it's like this is how whoever this person is was feeling before. So I don't know what this is about, but somebody's coming home. Somebody's getting out of jail, literally or figuratively, I don't know. But somebody's coming back home because I feel like they were in a situation where they were so stuck on another situation or another person that they may not have seen what they had within you. I feel like somebody's going to tell you about all the time that they feel like they wasted in the past. letting you walk away. Someone I feel was defeated. They wanted to finish something. They wanted to work something out. They thought something was going to work, but it just didn't. Like, I don't know. It kind of feels like, you know how when sometimes people have kids with somebody and they keep trying to make the situation work for the kids or they want to see a marriage through to the end, but it's like all of a sudden something clicks where they're like, fuck this shit. You know, like, it kind of feels like that to me. Ten of Cups, all these tens, something is over. Ten of Cups and the Queen of Wands. I feel like somebody would rather try to build this family situation with you, Pisces. Because, look, 
This looks like the same family that's in this Ten of Pentacles right here. I just feel like someone sees you as really attractive, warm, loving. They could see you as like a fire energy because you got the flame right here on the fire and then the Queen of Wands. Somebody could be really attracted to you. But I feel like they're literally coming home and you guys get to like do activities and things like that. <laughs> but it's like, it's going to be your choice. This was coming towards you though. Someone who regrets the fact that they didn't see you regrets the fact that they didn't understand. It's like they finally turned around. They finally turned around and realized what they floundered or what they lost. And I feel like now they can see these two cups over here. And this might've been your ass. I don't know. They could be letting somebody else float away now for all I know. But it's like they let too, I feel like somebody feels like they let too much time go by or they wasted too much time in the past. And they don't want to waste any more time. So I feel like they really want to come towards you to tell you, like, I feel like somebody is moving back home. So if somebody moved out of town or something like that. I don't know if you knew about it. But I feel like somebody's moving, like moving back home or something. And I feel like as soon as they get back home, they may like want to talk to you two of cups it's like they want to reconcile or they want to have a conversation or this motherfucker want to hug goddamn like they cold it's been cold out here they want to hug i just heard that same damn song he probably need a hug but you know he a thug trying to find a way to make a dollar tree shake these niggas lying these niggas fake, hey, hey. all eyes on me. Work at magic with that PPP. <laughs> I could tell a hundred tears on my face. I could, I could call a lot of hundred names. Got a twenty dollar bill? Get your hands up. If you survive this year, get your hands up. I don't know. It just feel like somebody need a hug. That's the only reason. Somebody need a hug. Like they done been through a lot. I don't really, I don't really think you understand what this person done been through. I'm not saying they didn't bring it on themselves, but damn, you gonna have to make a decision, Pisces. If you just gonna keep being mad, or if you, or if you just gonna start listening and talking to people and seeing what this world really about. Like I can't tell you what to do. Okay, what's the advice for Pisces in this situation? It says cooperation instead of competition. And that's what that whip card was talking about was competition. So I don't know. I don't know who was competing with who, but I feel like there was just a competitive energy between you and someone else. And it's time to let that shit go. Arguing. You know what I'm saying? Like if somebody's taking accountability, they just want to, they just want to work on things. Just take it for what it is. You know? Take it for what it is. See what it is that they do and let it just flow naturally. Don't like, cause the more that you block and the more that you push people away, the more that the energy stays around you. I don't understand. I, I don't, I don't, I don't know how to say it. It says what's yours is yours and no one can take it from you. There's no need to compete. There's an abundance for all. <laughs> you have complete access to unlimited abundance for yourself and to share with others. With cooperative partnership, you can accomplish anything. So I feel like spirit is advising you to work together with this person. Percy trying to get in. Because somebody's trying to get in, honey. Somebody's trying to get in. Your ship has arrived. So are you going to get on that bitch? That's my question. It says no more complaining. Complaints are affirmations of victimhood, which is never true spirituality. Okay, stop playing the victim. It says, take back your God-given power by affirming that you have an abundance of choices and freedom. With your increased confidence and assertiveness, watch these positive affirmations blossom into reality. So, you know, if you're constantly like, I'm, I'm not finna deal with nobody. I'm just not finna deal with nobody because, you know, everybody's just full of shit. Well, that's what you're gonna keep getting. Sorry, that's what it is. Spirit is literally telling you stop complaining. 
and being so combative. That's what the two of swords is. I said it earlier. Like I said, you being difficult with somebody. I, and I get it. Sometimes people deserve for you to be difficult with them, but you can only do that so much before somebody gives up. You know what I'm saying? So if you really do want what you claim that you want, then you're going to have to stop being so, so difficult. And you might not like me saying it, but that's just what it is. And if you don't like what someone is giving you, yes, you can walk away most definitely. But if it is somebody who you want or if it's something that you want, you've got to find a way to make it happen in your life. And just rejecting everything completely or just wanting everything to be your way all the time, like wanting everything to be perfect, it's just unrealistic. And it's not going to get you what you want. It's going to get you what you don't want, which is being alone. And if you want to be alone right now, then that's cool. But don't make the same mistake this person did. Because you may not want to take this person back. You may want to, you know, see what new love has to offer you. And that's fine. But at the same time, you still have to be able to take that same energy of forgiveness into whatever new situation that you are in. That same open energy of flow to allow whatever you're supposed to be able to receive to actually come to you. So I hope that helped Pisces. I love you guys. I really do. I just want us all to be on that beach in Malibu somewhere in, in, the, in a townhouse, townhouses or whatever in our, in our flats being happy. Okay. So I really hope you guys enjoy the message. If you want to catch this sale for this apparel, click the link below. Be sure to like, share and subscribe. And remember Pisces, this is our circle boobs. Bye.